Our Earth is just a mere speck in a massive universe. Statistically, scientists believe that this may mean that there could be millions of other civilizations like ours out there. The Earth orbits the Sun, just like seven other planets. But our Sun is not unique. It is only one of more than 100 other billion bright stars in our galaxy, the Milky Way. And even the Milky Way is just one of a trillion more galaxies. The universe is a very big place, and if you're talking something on the order of a trillion galaxies, each with half a trillion stars, it seems like a fairly silly notion to imagine that we're alone in the cosmos. If there is life, intelligent life, other civilizations in our small part of the galaxy, we will find them. In, in just half a dozen years or so. Does life exist in space? The answer might lie within Earth's closest neighbor, the planet Mars. Located over 34 million miles from Earth, researchers speculate that Mars is a planet that could support extraterrestrial life. In this infinite universe, the chances are that the same chemical processes that gave rise to life will have arisen many, many times elsewhere. One place that we might find life is within our own solar system. Uh, there are suggestions, for example, that there's microbial life on Mars. In 2003, ESA sent the Mars Express probe to the Red Planet. Its mission, find water, the basic substance of life on Earth. The images from the Mars camera showed something remarkable, deep valleys that cut through the Mars rock. At one point in time, water must have flowed here. And in some Mars craters, scientists have found frozen water. There are even entire glaciers capping the poles of Mars. But that's not all. We see images of riverbeds, even the image of an ocean. So we do know that Mars was once tropical. It was once lush. Scientists have been able to retrace the entire history of Mars. Four billion years ago, a gigantic sea covered a third of the planet. This water would have been enough to support microorganisms, except suddenly the climate changed. And for some reason, Mars lost its atmosphere and cooled down, and the water evaporated or became frozen within the, the surface soil. It may have had life in the past. But if just a small amount of liquid water is still present, there is still hope for life on Mars. A recent promising sign, strange grooves on the slopes of Mars. These features can occur when water liquefies in the soil and rock slides back over it. Hiding under the barren surface of this planet, there might still be liquid water, water that could mean life. Except on Mars, temperatures can drop as low as minus 121 degrees Fahrenheit. With no atmospheric protection, dangerous cosmic rays can directly strike the planet's surface. Is it even possible for life to survive in these conditions? To discover extraterrestrial life, to find out that we're not alone in the cosmos, it would be one of the biggest, if not the single biggest, discovery of all time. To answer the age-old question of existence of life on Mars, scientists take a deeper look at a continent on Earth that can mimic Mars' icy climate, Antarctica. Researchers from the German Aerospace Center are looking for extremophilic organisms, microorganisms that can handle the harshest cold. They find cyanobacteria, microfungi, and lichens. 
tiny creatures that can still survive at temperatures as low as negative 58 degrees. These extremophilic organisms clearly show us that life can exist in the most unbelievable places. We find life in the most extreme locations on our planet. So why shouldn't organisms also exist on Mars, which is also an ice-cold desert? At his lab in Berlin, Jean-Pierre de Vera needs to test whether these organisms from Antarctica can cope with even more extreme conditions. He has designed a special Mars simulation chamber to put the mosses and bacteria to the test. This is our Mars chamber. We've made it as close as possible to the condition of Mars. These temperatures go extremely low, negative 58 to negative 103 degrees Fahrenheit. To match the paper-thin atmosphere on Mars, the pressure is dropped to six millibars. Air on Earth contains less than 1% carbon dioxide. The air in this chamber is almost 96% carbon dioxide. Under these conditions, most earthly creatures would immediately perish. But the extremophilic organisms from Antarctica survive. So far, what I've discovered in the Mars chamber has been very surprising. Even under the Mars conditions, the fungi could form proteins and bacteria still produced methane. These algae and lichen could still be able to carry out photosynthesis even under Mars conditions. For this reason, we want to take the next step. We need to do these same tests in space. To assist with this study, the International Space Station is called into action for this unique experiment. With a risky setup outside, the astronauts assemble an experimental lab on the external surface of the space station. Several hundred samples, including the bacteria, fungi, and mosses, will be exposed to cosmic radiation, orbiting the Earth for over a year. If these organisms can survive in space, they may also have managed to survive on Mars. Life can exist on Mars. Based on the experiments we've done, it's clear that today's Mars is a viable planet. I believe we need to seriously look for life on Mars. Proving simple life exists on Mars would tremendously fuel the greater discussion about intelligent life. March 14, 2016 at the Russian space station in Baikonur. They are launching another new project to find out even more about Mars. ExoMars is a joint project of the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Russian space agency, Roscosmos. The mission is monitored via ESA's control center in Darmstadt. Flight director Michel Denis makes sure that the probe stays on course. ExoMars' mission is to find traces of life on Mars. That could be life that used to exist or maybe even still exists today. Since on Earth, methane is mostly produced by living things. The trace gas orbiter is designed to detect methane and then find the source of the gas. The methane on Mars might be generated by volcanoes. We believe that those volcanoes are now extinct, so it could be produced by minerals or it could be created by living organisms. In the next phase of the mission, a rover will land on Mars since cosmic radiation makes the surface itself too hostile for life forms. The rover will search for life in the ground. Protected from lethal radiation under the surface, microbes could still be alive. This is the first time in history that a Mars rover will drill two meters deep into the planet.
plus on va en profondeur, plus on remonte dans l'histoire. The deeper we drill, the further we can go back in history, increasing the chances that we will find life. Sur Mars, au cas où elle est disparue. The soil samples are examined immediately at the site. A special set of instruments on board the rover analyzes the drill cores for traces of life. But even after all this effort, there is still a chance that Mars may actually be a dead planet. There are still other potentially habitable worlds. The two moons orbiting Saturn, Titan and Enceladus could hold life in the ice that covers them. Gas giant Jupiter also has its own ice moons, Ganymede and Europa. Underneath their ice crusts, they may have oceans of liquid salt water, which could be teeming with life. Our next hot candidates are still in our solar system. We definitely want to look for life on the ice moons. One of these moons is very active, and we can tell that it is spurting out ocean material. That's exactly what we want to see. If something is coming out of the ocean, there could be life in that material. Future missions could finally reveal if there is life in our solar system. <laughs>